Blasting through your airwaves Stressing through the week but now it's hot day Whether at home or riding through your city It's always gratitude when you're lounging lyrically Trying to justify it in the midweek minute Screaming blessings up to the black on business We really love our fans and their energy The message is vibe over everything I hope you start humping something pretty soon. Get a quickie in or some shit. It'd be good for you. <laughs> but Midweek Vibe is powered by Hello Studios <laughs> right here in the heart of downtown Dallas and is a production of McCarty Dallas and Stillhouse USA. There we go. All right. There we go. We hit all three of them. There we go. <laughs> you know? Bro, I mean, as you can tell, I got I got a lot of fucking energy right now. Oh man, you are excited today. I like it though. Well, I mean, I was look, look. I like it though. I can't even lie. I'm halfway lit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Halfway okay. Lit. Uh, look, shout look, shout out, shout out to uh, Wing Mac. <laughs> 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 shout out to Wing Mac <laughs> up off of uh, Franklin in the Tollway, uh, you know, in Dallas. Yo, you know, we look impromptu business meeting. How you know, how number peeps. You know, For shout sure. out to shout out to Flip. Flip and Flip. you know, obviously, you know, you have to have a couple beverages. You do. <laughs> There's no no meeting is is correct unless you have uh, a beverage or two that you can you know write off. <laughs> this is business. Listen, you know what I mean. It's business. So there's nothing wrong with it at all. Nothing wrong with it at all, brother. At all, bro. So um, yeah, I mean that happened. And of course, you know I, I I forget you know traffic in Dallas. You know uh you know throughout the throughout the city at certain times. You know, so I'm like, fuck, I gotta look, I gotta I gotta make it all the way back downtown through all this shit. Oh yeah, it's the worst. So you talking about so you was off of uh the toll? Mm-hmm. Toll and and, and the oh here I say I put it like this. The toll and anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the toll and anything at this time of night or this time of day is 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 crazy and nuts. So yeah, if you'd be driving, you know, and uh if it's daylight outside. If it's daylight outside, it's gonna be traffic. Now, if it's not, now we're nowhere near Atlanta and Houston when it comes to traffic. We have some bad spots. Six thirty-five, I think six thirty-five has been under construction for four hundred and seventy-nine years. You know what I mean? I think. And then there is what's the other bad one? Shit, call them all. Loop 12? <laughs> but how we Hold go on. there first? <laughs> Loop, tw- Loop 12, I-20, I-35. <laughs> where, where she want to go? Where she want to go? Hell, look, look the tollway. Uh, one, look, 161 get backed up. How the fuck am I paying to be backed up in fucking traffic? That's the whole reason for taking the toll. It's so <laughs> exactly. that I cannot be on there exactly. with the non-toll payment. Ma- matter, matter of fact, I pay you motherfuckers for the, look, for the simplest thing. It says easy pass. I mean, easy I should pass. pass through all these other simple motherfuckers. I should. Easy as shit. And but and what was weird is the the fastest easy pass is on six thirty five. That's the fastest easy pass. Oh, yeah, it's on six thirty five. Hey, when you hit that underground shit, I was yeah. like, ooh, I, fuck. man, yeah, man. I felt like I was like in fast and furiousness. <laughs> when you hit that underground, <laughs> you hit that little underground thing, and you underneath everybody. I, look, I start, oh man, I start, I start, look, I start. Th- that's when you start thinking crazy as shit. I can jack a fucking eighteen wheel up under this motherfucker. Oh and man, you would never know. And they would never know, man, because ain't no exits. Like None. the exits is like two, three miles apart. Hey, oh know, yeah, it's a. As soon as we look, it's soon, a whole look. As soon as that ramp come back up, like around like that seventy five exit, <laughs> I'd be gone. I'd be gone. <laughs> All right, but the weather here in Dallas, the weather here in Dallas, hey people, like you know, spring is in full effect, and fuck, like we only got three goddamn seasons. So it's, look, it feel like something already. It's ninety some goddamn degrees, and yeah. Where's the pool at? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's in. It's getting uh, 
it's getting pretty pretty heavy out there, man. It's getting real heavy out there. Um, it's not as bad over on the mix mass over there in the Deep Ellum side uh, right now. Commerce and Elm right now is looking pretty clean. So, man, if you want to go grab you uh, a beverage, a light beverage or a light drink or whatever like that, you pretty, you got time and you have no traffic that you can get through over there because yeah, it's looking pretty pretty light and things are moving up there on the mix master up there on 45 75 to 30 it's a lot of no <laughs> up on 45 75 to 30 like I have a, it's like that one little highway that little, one little stretch right there it yeah. has like three highways it's 45 75 and 30 which is all right there and so it's the right there in deep the tri master the tri master yeah that's what we'll call that from <laughs> now on see we just started a new word here there you go so now the trimaster is looking pretty clean right now. So y'all go enjoy yourself down there in Deep Ellum. And you know what? Almost my favorite. This is almost my favorite time of year. You know why? You know why? Because all your little badass kids is almost out of school. And so <laughs> tra look, traffic in the morning, traffic in the morning and the afternoons is gonna be a little light. It is gonna be a little light. Because y'all not on the fucking road no more. It is gonna be a light. It is gonna be light. We're looking for that. But the the problem of that is is now all the kids is out of school. Now they gotta figure out how to entertain entertain them bad motherfuckers. Because now. They can't hand them off to the teachers no more. See, the teachers is off. Put their ass in the metaverse. The teachers is off. <laughs> yeah, the motherfuckers <laughs> be in the metaverse at school. <laughs> what you mean? They be on the metaverse at school. So this is nothing new. <laughs> I'm talking about put them in the metaverse. They already fucking there. They be in the metaverse at oh, school shit. trying to turn in, my, turn in a paper, <laughs> turn in algebra, <laughs> and talking about, I don't need this algebra. I have my mask. <laughs> I have my meta mask. And I'm like, bitch. The fuck you mean? Listen, I want to teach. Look, I want the teacher to chime in. If you've ever heard this, if I was a student in today's time, and the teacher asked me where the fuck my goddamn homework is, I was like, "It's on the fucking blockchain. Can you find it?" Look, <laughs> it's on the fucking blockchain. <laughs> if any student were to say that, okay. <laughs> if any student were to say that, all right, oh, shit. they had us. They had teachers <laughs> at one point when they would say, it's in the cloud. Uh, go get it. Like, the fuck? What? Had all those teachers up there looking up. It's like, in the cloud? What you Yo. talking about? Yo. You want to say it's on the blockchain now? Oh, you finna throw all oh. the teachers out of wax saying oh, that shit. It's on, on the, the blockchain. It's on the blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> on the blockchain. Like, well, uh, unlink it. <laughs> unlink it then. Oh shit, this God. is on the blockchain. <laughs> <laughs> Unleak that shit. Oh shit, man! All right, bro. So we we got a couple. We got a couple. You know, we got we got some business to the, to to take care of before we hop into a lot of shit that's been going on. Yeah. It, uh, so first off, um, obviously, you know, in our community, basketball community, um, <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's a, a great loss, <laughs> a great loss to, you know, an NBA, an NBA legend, you know, uh, Bob Lanier passed away, you know, at the age of 73. Yeah. Uh, you know, just a little, just a little tidbits. 1970, you know, he was the first overall pick. Yes. You know, in, in 1970 draft and, um, uh, you know, inducted into the hall of fame in 92, you know, to like, to briefly describe his game. He was a goon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know y'all look y'all know a Bill Lambeers and uh, you know and not like Dennis Rodman was a was a lightweight goon, but uh, he was you a know, lightweight goon. But the Vernon Maxwells, yeah, the, you know the Charles Oakleys or whatever. Before that, it was a Bob Lanier. All right, people. So, want to just you know uh, send our condolences you know to the NBA family and to his family. You know our prayers up. You know uh, a legend lost. Man, for sure. You yeah, know. For sure. For sure. Man, and, and and apparently he was also just a good dude. Yeah, you all know, around just an all-around good dude. Uh, and that was, um, man, just you know, man, just a staple and a uh, and man, a true legend for the NBA. Yeah, yeah, you know, great ambassador. You know, ah, uh, you know, damn, I don't want to get too fucking sad. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I get that one out the way. Oh man, so we gonna look, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Khalil. Yeah, Bob Lanier passed away. Um, so I got some for all you, all you fuckers on on IG. Got some for all you fuckers. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, apparently, <coughs> Instagram filters are now banned in the state of Texas and also Illinois. 
Well, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> niggas can see these women's real faces. Exactly. Stop fucking catfishing me. <laughs> now, <laughs> niggas can see these women's real faces. They out here like, they out here like Kendrick Lamar was on the video. On the video. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. When he look, when he turned, hold on. When he turned into OJ, he did. He, hold on, like, oh, hold on, like, that, look, that was that, like that was trippy. I look, I sat and watched. I sat and watched that video again multiple times genius. in the morning, and how it 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 really looked like OJ Spirit took over his body at that moment because he, like, oh man, and went right into yeah, in the face. man. Ah, <sighs> the boogeyman is coming. That's all I'm gonna say. That was. <laughs> The boogeyman is coming. That, that, what up, T West? That deep fake shit. Oh man, that had me. I was like, Whoa. yeah, bro. Wait wow. a minute. Yo, no, he got, no, we, look, no, we, he got the Nipsey. He was doing the mannerisms. Like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> first, I was like, first of all, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, Kendrick, stop fucking moving, man. You give <laughs> you're making me seasick. I'm trying to watch the video, but you, you keep, you keep. <laughs> You keep hitting me here, man. I'm trying to <laughs> try to follow the flow, Kendrick. No. You know, but it was, man, it was, it was something else. It was because uh, it's a lot. Well, a lot of people don't know. It's a lot of metaphors in that video. Oh no, it is a yeah. lot of metaphors in that video that a lot of people don't understand and don't see. They don't because um, they think they're just watching the video. What's up, T West? They mm -hmm. think they're just watching the video. We talking about the culture, and he is really. Really, I mean, telling stories. Yes, telling stories, and not just the words, but he's telling stories in the visuals as well. Yeah, and I don't think a lot of people understood that. They don't. They don't. Or whatever. That's a whole. That's a whole. Yeah, that we story. didn't. That wasn't even nah, on the hey. on the list. But but you gotta go. Are. But you gotta yeah. go with it. I mean, I was gonna talk about it like the end of the story because like once again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again. The boogeyman is coming. The boogeyman is coming. But back to you got back to all these goddamn filters. Back to all these fucking filters. Jazz talking about is that what we're concerned about? Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Because yes. I mean, look, look, okay, okay, Jazz. For one, like for one instance, you got all these, you got all these young and these kids who you know who are basically popping up, killing themselves, whatever, because they can't figure out or they can't decipher. First, they say T word of the day. Nice. Can't decipher from, you know, what's real and what's fake. Correct. You know, and this is this is well before this whole metaverse thing and you know the blockchain and. <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything else within it, but, but, you see, I see some of these, I see some of these chicks and they videos and their stuff nowadays, and y'all just look stupid as shit because it, uh, because the thing look it, you can you can tell it's fake, but y'all yeah, just love sure. it. Y'all can love this fuck. Y'all love this fucking filter yeah. so fucking much, and it's not moving with your fucking face. Yeah. So sometimes it's on your cheek, sometimes it's on your eyebrows, sometimes it's on your neck. Yeah, and I and I be wanting to ask some of you females, but I can't. I but I want to. The thought has crossed my mind. I want to like, what the fuck do y'all do for a living? Because it's like, <laughs> y'all, like I want to ask the question, like, what the fuck do y'all do for a living? Because it's like every week you're at a different hotel. I'm like, damn, is you in AAU season yeah. early all year round? They are. Like, yeah. how is you? It like you in a different like? Oh, I'm seeing the world, but like. Don't be look. Don't be fooled by that shit. I want to know what they do talking, you do? They talking about they in the fucking plane and y'all all y'all doing is using the goddamn uh, washer dryer, <laughs> goddamn door, <laughs> put it on the side, of <laughs> like y'all in the fucking uh, seven forty five or some shit. But Jazz said it's like uh, I questioned my legislator. Well, the truth behind why it's banned is because the company, the parent company behind Instagram or whatever, is using face recognition or whatever yeah. like, uh, illegally. For you know, storing people's information for whatever, like whatever reasons or whatever, without you guys' consent. So on that note, I get it. On you that know, part, on that, that part, I get that it. That part, I get it. Thank even, you for even though doing your job, even though my information is probably on the blockchain, sold fifty million times by fifty different people. I mean, I think everybody's information is on the blockchain Hell, at this it, point. I every mean, every bank, look, every uh, every national bank has had a goddamn breach every other year. And shit. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. So look, Twitter had a fucking breach. Target had a fucking breach. Every look, look, your shit is out there. I mean, it, I mean, I mean, think about it, y'all. I mean, so you drop a story. <laughs> Let's say you just talking and you drop a story, right? You drop a story, and man, there, there's your face right there. Yeah. So to try, to, you know, and you go do a TikTok. There's your face. I got one better for you. I got one better. All y'all simpletons out there. That's what we're gonna call it today. <laughs> All you simpletons. 
all y'all doing this, all y'all doing this 10 year gap ta- challenge and shit. <laughs> How old y'all were in, 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 2000, in 2005, and now it's 2015, and then you want to go 2021, 22? Y'all dumbasses done gave you done gave them fe- facial recognition. If y'all done had surgery, all this other shit. Oh yeah, and how to, you done gain weight, your height, all, like everything. They got you. They got you. And every fucking year, y'all keep doing the shit. Oh, they gonna keep doing them. Just <laughs> let another challenge come up. Let another challenge hit the street. Hit the streets. Look, look, uh, look. What is, what is on TikTok? You just hear that voice. Okay, here's the next challenge. I'm gonna see if it. Show me how you look, show me how you looked when you were baby, and show me how you look now, and let's see if you changed. <laughs> Motherfucker, I was I was nine weeks old as a fucking. How the fuck you think I didn't change? <laughs> New challenge. Post the first picture in your phone, then post the one <laughs> when you was 35 years younger. Hold on. Let's see how we age it. Hold on. What? Yes. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull one up tonight. I'm pulling one up tonight. New challenge. Show us your mug shot. Just Let's see if you were really. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you were really about that life. <laughs> New challenge. Commit a crime and then take a picture. I want to see who's really about that life. <laughs> New challenge. Rob a gas station and take a picture with the attendant. <laughs> Like it, it be shit like that, bro. But people, people, people would, people would do it. People would do it. People would do it. Hell hey, yeah, they listen. Would. Let me put this. Let me put this fucking disclaimer out there right now. Midweek vibe is no way, shape, or form <laughs> telling you guys to go out and commit any fucking crime. Please, thank you. Please, for that disclaimer. we're not. We're, we're not at all. But if you do it and you get away with it, uh, our fee is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, we'll tell you what parking lot to meet us in to make the drop. <laughs> just five percent. Just five. That's it. We only want five. <laughs> Unmarked, unmarked bills, clean. Unfucking marked. And speak, look, speaking <laughs> of crimes, bro. Speaking of crimes, this look. This next one. Okay, go ahead. This shit came. Look, this shit came across my desk. My virtual desk. <laughs> In the meta. No, no, not that. Not that. Not that. One. Not that one. That's the midweek minute. <laughs> oh, this is a different one. Okay, huh? there we go. Okay, so. It ain't showing. I'm I am a sneakerhead. Oh, that one. I am a sneak. <laughs> I am a look. I am a sneakerhead, and so to see this shit, to see this shit come across my fucking desk, and the look, look now, Ed, now, anybody in the fucking anybody in the fucking you know sneaker community also knows that Nike, look, Nike's been going back and cleaning the fucking house. Nike's been going back cleaning the house. Like they, you know, uh, you know, these people got, you know, their sh- like their shoes coming out, and they're, like they're basically using the 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 replica or the model of the Jordan One, yeah, or some or some of that sort. Nike's going back, look, putting lawsuits on all the motherfuckers. Like, hey, nah, take that shit, look, <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, uh, uh-uh. uh, seat four and five. I need all that shit. Put like, jail that. time on all you bitches. Take shoe program, nigga, <laughs> shoe program. Taking all that shit, but this last one. So Nike has a new lawsuit against StockX. It's a reseller, uh, okay, reseller brand. Said that they've been selling fakes. StockX had. StockX has been selling. Fakes. The one with the green, yeah, the yeah, green with, with the green dot, with the green with the green tag, with the green wow. tag on the shoes. Yeah, and y'all take that shit off your t- your shoe, please. After you buy it, I want to hear y'all clumping around like you got keychain on. T- Hold on, no, somebody, oh, damn. somebody said, somebody said, I bet the motherfuckers cutting the goddamn tag off. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they cut that goddamn tag off now. <laughs> but they couldn't be quick. So StockX, StockX has a like 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 all of them do, supposedly or supposed to, they have a, you know, a hundred percent okay verification process where okay. any fakes, anything else to try to you know, try to see through, they send them shits back to the seller. Yeah. They send the shits back to the uh, fucking seller or whatever, and that's it. You yeah. get your like you you get your money returned or however they want to deal with it. But there are some fakes that sneak through, bro. That so okay, sneakerhead. Yeah. My question to that, right? My question to that is <laughs> because I do know this: they're all being made in China. In China. Or Singapore, or, or, or Taiwan, one of those countries over there, right on that coast. And so they're all being made in the same. They are same factories. Uh huh. Okay. So if they sneak through, mm-hmm. are they really fake? And what's coming out of there? Are they really fake? Now I'm not talking about the ones. Okay. The the 
the ones you go to the the shoe store off of Jefferson, and it's uh. a it's a dude that looking you know no the he looked like he doing the 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 Dougie or the whip. Not that it's a, Jordan. It's supposed to be the jump man logo. Yeah. You got a man jumping over a hurdle. Jumping over a hurdle, you know what I'm saying? Or he doing a jab step or some yeah. shit like that. No, no, I'm not. Like, I'm talking like the, they say, so the big thing is reps. Yeah. Right? And and I saw a tweet where somebody said, if your man wears reps, how do you feel about it? You know what? How do you feel? Look, how do you feel about him? Or how, look, you can't, you can't fucking tell these days. That's what you I'm. You can't. Right. It's just like. Look, no mind. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> it's just like a lot of y'all trying to figure out if these women got fake asses or not. <laughs> the beep. Uh, no, that's not hard to find out. Figure no, out no more. No. Some of them motherfuckers, Doctor Miami, you can't fucking. Some of them shits ain't, ain't hard some, to figure out no more. Some some of them ain't hard. To, that's the ones that try to go for fucking overboard, and you look like a goddamn uh, uh, lamb chop. A lollipop out here and shit. <laughs> Motherfucker looking like it got two letter P's that Hell they walking yeah. on. <laughs> Look like a goddamn golf club and shit. That that's what. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fuck. That's what you can't. But no, like with the sneakers these days, no, you really can't. You really can't fucking tell because no, you can't. Tell. And I look. I didn't. I didn't know this till recently. They got fucking tears of of, of the fakes. Of There's shit. tears. Of yeah, look, you got a, look, you got the A one, then you got some other ones. That mu- but like the majority, like the majority of them, like you said, come out the same fact, same factory, and some of them are considered. Some of them are considered fakes or whatever. Right. It's because like it may have one little defect that happened in the supply chain of so of the same fucking thing. So how does that make it fake? That's so what I'm saying is it's the same fucking okay. shoe. How does it make it fake so because they, it has a small so defect? So they call it so they call it fake if it, if it does not come from like a Nike, Adidas, Reebok, like though like they're like they're built like their brands or whatever. If it okay. doesn't come from them, they'll say they'll say they'll say that they're fake. Okay. Basically. So and is every fucking shoe that's at Ross and Marshalls, <laughs> are them bitches fake? <laughs> every fucking shoe that's at Ross and Marshalls? No, nah, they just come off of, uh, you know, Billy around the corner. <laughs> I'm just saying. Really like, didn't want. That ain't but one of them in there. Right. Now, now uh, shout out to, you know, shout out to Swaver, DJ Swaver here in Dallas, whatever like that, who's a, a major sneakerhead uh-huh. or whatever. He said, you know, because a lot of people been asking him, and he he came out on you know his social media and said that this is nothing new. These True. Re, th- these reseller sites have been having fakes since you know forever. Yeah. But the key to watch out for, the key to watch out for, are these fucking hype releases. Like if y'all see the picture, the okay. bread. Look, the Jordan One breads that okay. came that came out in December. The Jordan One breads that came out in December, which was a very hyped shoe. Okay. Which was a very fucking hype shoe. Which means that a company like StockX or GOAT or all these other ones, you know, allegedly, I'm not going to say, like, y'all ain't, come, y'all ain't fucking coming for us. But allegedly, it would be beneficial for them to like, to, like, to have fakes go through or whatever because there's such high demand. Right. And there's other litigation, uh, litigations right now where you're talking about how Marcus Jordan, allegedly, is under scrutiny or whatever like that because there's one, no, there's one. Uh, the son? Yeah, no, because there's one reseller who basically he always posts a picture like the Jordan twos that just came out, or you know the um, the uh, Jordan one uh, Georgetowns that just came out. This guy, this guy will post a picture with hundreds of boxes behind him, oh. and they and they basically they, they basically were going out to him talking about like, man, that's so that's fucked up that you know you got all these boxes, you got all these shits, and like the the regular customer can't get the fucking shoes and this that the right. other. His response was. His response was he laughed and he said, he said, that's it. Y'all think that he said, y'all think that this is coming from bots. He said, who he said, how do y'all know this is not coming, you know, directly from the source? Damn. Like Nike and all these other people are basically sending him these hundreds of fucking uh, pairs of shoes. Damn, to resell and he send to re yeah, to resell or and like like if it's a somebody like a Marcus Jordan or whatever like yeah. that, they like they 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 split the profits or he gets wow. his cut or whatever the case may be. Allegedly. I'm not gonna say that they're actually doing I mean, that it. It is shit. big business now. It's huge. It's big business. Pause. I, I t- <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Yeah, it is. <laughs> shit. Cause I'll tell you this, like, so some of them I saw a pair of I forgot what it was, but it was a pair of Nikes and for the kids pairs of Nikes, it was like $120, right? It was $120 for the kids' Nikes. Bruh. The dudes, the grown men's, it was $270. Bruh. It was $300. And you know, what my, you know what I said to myself? 
I ain't had this problem when I was rocking Pumbas. <laughs> I had these problems when 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 I was rocking my Pumas. A lot of them. Let's. I had these problems. Let's look. Let's put it. Let's put it like this, bro. Let's put it like. This. I didn't. No. Let's, let's put it like this. Let's put it like this. So I just bought a pair of shoes for me and my girl. Just bought a pair of shoes. So for mine, my shit is like two fifty. Okay. Two. No. No. I'm lying. It was like, but they normally be like, okay, they, I pay two ten for them, but they lower like two fifty, what like that? Her small last foot, kid shit, that should be like one thirty, one fifty, yeah, or whatever like that. That's why I be looking at you, motherfuckers. Like every like every sneaker that I go back and put, the like my shit's gonna be like two fifty, three hundred. They like the they're, they're one sixty retail, but sneaker app, fuck you, right? Because nobody ever wins on that shit. Yeah, you know what I figured out. I figured I'd just go to the Nike store, not the outlet, the actual Nike store. I wanted a pair of blazers, a pair of low top black blazers. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find them anywhere online. So I said, I'm just going to go to the Nike store and get them. And there they were. But, uh, Had my size. Yeah. And it was $90. But we, no, I'm about to say, but look, <laughs> but we talk, we talking about, we talking about these, we talking about these hype releases or whatever. So all the fucking Jordans, which oh, I don't understand. Well, hold on, which I don't understand why y'all keep doing this shit. He keep, Putting out the same fucking pair of shoes every goddamn year. He just changed the color on y'all bitches. No, he changed one little accent. He changed one <laughs> little accent. He look, look. Matter of fact, colorway. <laughs> he changed the fucking inner. He, met, met, look, he put out the sixes and changed the inner line of another goddamn shoe. Yeah. And call it uh call it Astro World or something. Motherfuckers <laughs> just line up. You know. But <clears throat> I say, if you love them, fakes or not, rock whatever the fuck you want to rock. I, I I tell you like this, every piece of pair of Nikes that I buy, the ones I have right now, all right, are real, <laughs> okay? They're real. But if I buy me some reps, I be damned you walk up to me and say, them fake, bitch, take them off my feet. Look, look, hold on, no, 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 I got you. No, I got you, bro, I got you, bro. All y'all acting bougie as shit out there. That's what the fuck y'all talk. All y'all acting bougie as shit. Act like y'all didn't have no fucking replica pair of shoes. Everybody had some XJ 900s or oh. some other shit for pay less back in the day because your mama couldn't afford it. Y'all fucking, mm, you fuckers up. My dad mm. had, gave me, I had my ass in some Rydells. I said, Daddy, <laughs> what the fuck? That's a helmet. What? <laughs> when did helmets hold start on. making shoes? Hold on, hold on. All you motherfuckers that want a uh, goddamn Air Force Ones and your parents got your K-Swiss. Got your K-Swiss. <laughs> got you some goddamn British Knights. Y'all fake as shit. <laughs> Y'all so fake. Y'all ain't had no starter jacket with the team on it. It just said starter. <laughs> you bitches. <laughs> it just said starter on it. It had no team or nothing, oh, no, no, no affiliation. No, no. It just nah, said starter. It ain't had no goddamn starter. Y'all had that goddamn. They had that goddamn bomber jacket. It just had a goddamn star on the shit. That's it. It look. It wasn't a star. Look, it wasn't a star with the shoot with the shit shooting. It was that fake ass little five point star that y'all had on the goddamn jacket. Y'all niggas had strawberries. And you, you thought we wasn't go no. You look, look, y'all look. Your, your parents look. Your parents got you them goddamn shacks out of Walmart. Look, look. <laughs> Talking about, talking about, baby, what you talking about? These are name brand, baby. <laughs> they going to last you. They going to last you. All they going to last all you. All of five hours. That's it. <laughs> Don't play in rocks, baby, because they're going to fall apart. Now they, no, they got to give you that disclaimer. Got to get it now when you go to recess. You got to take these off. <laughs> <laughs> you go to recess. You got to take these off and put all these Oh my God! That's what you tell. That's what you tell a motherfucker. I'm just gonna play in the sandbox today. I'm just gonna. Play. <laughs> I'm just gonna swing. Can somebody push me? I'm you know just what? Gonna swing. You know what? Here. You know what? Here's my note from Mama. <laughs> uh, let me get in trouble today, <laughs> so I ain't gotta even go outside. My, mom, my mama said I can't dress out because I got. <laughs> I got a rash. I got. Got a rash, boy. I got a rash. I got a ring, ring, ring worm or something. Oh like man. Oh my god, man. Hi. Right. <laughs> the title, <laughs> y'all, y'all are fucking weird. Yeah. That's the title of the show today. And let's go ahead and get into this midweek minute, let's man. Let's get we, into we, it. We're gonna say that last fucking story till later. Ah, this fucking midweek minute. Now. Oh man. Everybody done grew up at a time and a place where You move to a new city, your mama moved you to a new school or something, and you were struggling to get friends. 
you struggling to get friends or whatever. People just didn't like, you know, maybe the way you dressed or, you know, maybe because you were taller. Maybe because, you know, I don't know. Different things happen. So you were struggling to get friends. If some of y'all motherfuckers out there that had imaginary friends, you know, now y'all, like the women, y'all had imaginary tea parties. <laughs> you know, y'all had four, four chairs set up and it's only you sitting there, but you're talking to three other people. Yeah. You know, some Love look. Players and shit. Hey, dudes. Stop fucking acting weird. We did the shit all the goddamn time. We in the backyard playing basketball. You were being guarded by an imaginary fucking friend Who? And, the, Who? and the clock. Who was? <laughs> you can't hold me. Get off me. Get, Get off, off me. me. Get off me. You can't hold me. No, you look, can't hold me. Pause. Fade away. Pause. Nutso was guarding you or whatever, Shepherd, and you up on the fucking <laughs> roof. Some people gonna get that goddamn. Uh, some people gonna get that reference later, but you motherfuckers in this goddamn metaverse. Oh, Lord. Wow. Y'all already getting on my goddamn nerves. Now, today's Midweek Minute. <laughs> <laughs> A man is desperate. Let me say this one more time. A man is desperate and asking for help because he is struggling He is struggling to bond with his holographic wife. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. A man is struggling. <laughs> and needs help because he cannot bond. He cannot find a way to bond with his holographic wife. Why ain't no fucking waiting, boy? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I right, so. <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit like that ever in my life. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Y'all in this fucking metaverse shit. Hold on. Y'all are some metatards. Hold on, bro. The fuck, man? This man began, this man began dating a fictional co computer synthesized pop singer by the name of, I can't even pronounce that shit. In 2008. That damn, it's 22. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Shit. Hold on, bro. The anime character was portrayed as a 16 year old with turquoise hair. So this motherfucker is dating a hologram and he'll fucking holla, holla, holophile. Holophile. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking holophile. He's a holophile. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2018. Oh, condo. <laughs> decided to take the relationship to the next level. <laughs> when he married Miku. <laughs> Did she know? <laughs> <laughs> Did she know? Bruh. Like, did she, like, so, okay. <gasps> Who presided over the wedding? <laughs> Who were the guests? Who was the maid of honor? Who was the groomsman? Who was the... <laughs> Did they go to the Justice of Peace? He took his computer with him. Like, how did this? They got married in Fortnite. <laughs> Emotional damage. I have nothing left. Yo, hold on. The Just when I think that you can't on. get any weirder with your midweek minutes. Hold on. My goodness. Hold on, bro. I'm crying. I'm fucking crying. The ceremony costs two million yen. Which is about seventeen thousand three hundred dollars. Thanks to gate, hold on. Thanks to Gatebox, a thirteen hundred dollar system that was like that allows device users to engage with characters uh, via hologram. He was able to interact <laughs> with Miku for the first time a year before they wed. <laughs> this bitch, this motherfucker paid eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker paid eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> eighteen thousand dollars. Oh shit! Hold on, hold to on. To marry this meta, this meta girl. Oh my god! But wait, there's more. 
You wouldn't know why he was struggling. Sadly, for Kondo, <laughs> support for the gay for the gay box software was discontinued, <laughs> meaning that he was no he could no longer speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh my God. See, I, all I see is just this <laughs> motherfucker getting mad and upset. I'm just like, God damn it. That motherfucker said a factor that is that is driving a wedge between them. <laughs> <laughs> and goddamn, su- hold on, goddamn tech support. <laughs> no, quit. <laughs> and y'all driving a wedge in between my wedding <laughs> and my marriage. <laughs> Control, all delete ain't working no more. I can't reboot my computer. <gasps> I, I need it. Hold on. I can't revert this shit back to (laughs) 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 Oh my God. Just when. (sighs) Just when I thought. (laughs) Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. Oh my God. But wait! There's more. Oh my heavens. Oh my god. This motherfucker said he admits that while the silence has caused a st- uh, caused some strain, he is still madly in love with Miku. You know. My love for Miku hasn't changed, he confirmed. <laughs> 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 now, they are calling this uh he is a fic- fictosexual. A f- okay. <laughs> He is a <laughs> he's a fictosexual. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel at this point we're just making shit up. <laughs> we're, we're, with 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 um whatever you want to call it, your sexualities or whatever. I feel at this point we're just making shit up, right? To make it fit. Okay, to say that people are okay. Fictosexual. All right. I've never in my forty years heard of a ficto sexual now it may have been out there but now i feel like we're just is people in love with fictional characters <laughs> and you know what and you know and here, but you know what i feel sorry for the fictional character oh my god she didn't even know she ain't hold on she didn't even know hold on first off first off she is underage. She let's start there let's start, <laughs> let's start there she's underage start there her gigs don't even kick up until after this. <laughs> <laughs> he just not caught this shit. Her gigs don't even kick up until after. Her gigs ain't even legal. They're not even legal. They're not even legal. They're not even legal. Oh man, she's still running on analog. <laughs> she's not even. She's not even digital yet. She can't. Oh shit! Oh man, that's pretty bad. T West, yeah, this shit is for real. This, this shit is, is serious. It's pretty real. Oh. It's bad. Humanity is fucked. <laughs> Humanity is fucked. It's just you know, and everybody's saying that you know the metaverse, everything is going to go to the mer- metaverse. No, the fuck is not. Now there's going to be people, obviously, fuck like that. like him, that's going to go to the metaverse. Call me right, but I I, I just call me. I, l- I look. I am legend. A robot. I, yeah, man. I I refuse to, you know. I, I I don't even play the games, but I I just this here, like, but 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 we not well we not finna skim over though. <laughs> it is. This has been going on since two thousand eight. <laughs> we not finna skim over that. Hold on. Hold okay. On, hold on. So so does she age or does she stay the same? <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna throw this to you in the metaverse. I'm gonna throw this to you. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So you ask if she aged. Did Mario ever fucking age? Did, no. Did Luigi ever fucking age? We still don't know what the fuck Sonic the Hedgehog is. That bitch never aged. He's a porcupine. He's a porcupine, but that bitch never grew older. No, the fuck he didn't. So she is still sixty. <laughs> in in all in fourteen years, Hold she's on. still she should be thirty. So can you can you get arrested in the metaverse? <laughs> Can you can you be a pedophile in the metaverse and get and get arrested? But who gonna come get him? <laughs> like so, so that means somebody got to log on. The meta cops. The meta cops <laughs> got to log on, <laughs> and they got to jump on, jump on the <laughs> wherever they <laughs> wherever he hanging out at. Could you imagine that? Oh. Remember that show, Catch a Catch a Predator? Yes. 
Imagine if they did that in the Hold metaverse. On. When they look, when they walk in the goddamn hotel room, he was like, "Oh shit, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know, know she was." I, I was just, I was 13. just here. I was just here to pray over her. No, That's all I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but no, but seriously, 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 like how look, how do they how do they fucking chase him? Are they, look, are they typing fast trying to get through the codes? And <laughs> <laughs> They say, oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. There he is. Get closer. Turn. <laughs> no, no, no. Come back. No, 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 no. Y'all playing around. I got him. Watch okay. me. Watch me. Watch me put this code. I'm, I'm about to switch the street. <laughs> <laughs> they on headsets and shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Neither did Caillou. His ass. <laughs> hey, seriously. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like Bart, Bart Simpson been the same goddamn age for 30 years. For 30 years. <laughs> the baby never grew up. Nope. She's still sucking on her pacifier. Ma- Maggie still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stewie is still a football-headed motherfucker <laughs> that ain't grew up yet. Like, these bitches ain't grew up. So she's still 16. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man. And that Snuff- motherfucker is sick. Snuff- Snuffleupagus could have died like 50 years ago. Hell. <laughs> Kermit, mother, uh, what's that motherfucker? What's the frog name? Kermit, Kermit, Kermit still ain't grew. Ain't we don't know how the old oh the fuck God. Kermit is. Lord. So no, she ain't got no older. This he's still getting older. Oh my God, but she ain't. Oh shit. Mm mm mm. It's just bad all the way around. All the, all the way the fuck around. It's just bad all the way around. All I, the way to. I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> what oh to my. Say. Oh That's my bad. God. That's bad. It's horrible. It's That's fucking That's really fucking bad. That's fucking horrible. Look, I will look, I will look, I will look at my DMs after the after the show. I can't right now. <laughs> Got me almost scared to look at my fucking DMs right now and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. All right, bro. Let's go. L- lyric Lounge. Oh. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. We got Lyric Lounge. For everybody, this is their first time jumping on Lyric. <laughs> God damn. For everybody, this is your first time jumping on Lyric Lounge. This is where I, Draper Winston, I give you a song or some sort of verse, whatever, right? And I do it in some sort of theatrical voice. But the caveat to that is, nice SAT word, is that my brother Cobain does not know, all right, does not know what that song is. At all. Okay, he does not know what that song is. But then he comes back and he gives us his interpretation of the song in bars, all right? It gives it to us in bars, bang, okay? Bang, bang, bang. So you know how bang, it go. Bang, so bang. this week's this week's song <laughs> kind of ties into this goddamn midweek minute that just fucking happened, so because <laughs> he's feeling it right now, all right? Because he can't get to his metal white. <laughs> <laughs> So if you know the song, you're more than welcome to sing along. <clears throat> more than welcome to sing along. And this week's Lyric Lounge is going to be coming to you by none other. God <laughs> damn it. So I ain't got my fucking. Oh, <laughs> fuck. oh hell. Well, none other <clears throat> than the Godfather himself. You busting my balls. Boy, ain't no fucking waiting, boy. You busting my balls, Mooley, huh? You busting my balls, Mooley, huh? I tell you, huh? This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Here we go. (laughs) Somebody said every day wasn't going to be sunny skies. Only Marvin Gaye. In lingerie, <laughs> I guess somebody lied. We started discussing. <laughs> Did you scratch your beard? That's what they do. We started discussing it and fighting. <laughs> then don't touch me. Oh, shit. Please, you know, Mooley. Don't touch me. <laughs> and let's stop the madness and just come lay with me. And I told you, the truth told, I'm waving my flag (laughs) before it all goes bad, Mooley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh shit. Cause we made it this far. <laughs> for better or for worse. I wanna feel it. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it hurts. Oh my God. If I cry to the other side, let's go. Cause we gonna survive. <laughs> Cause we <laughs> stay on the front lines. Yeah. For when the bum drops, Chico. Yeah. Put it bully. We go so hard we lose control. You know, <laughs> the fire starts, we explode. <laughs> yeah, we explode. <laughs> pause, pause. <laughs> <laughs> when the smoke clears, oh, we dry our tears. Mm. Only in love and war. In love and war, Chico. You get me, Poochie? <laughs> Only in love and war. <laughs> Let me bust my balls, Mooley. Oh, shit. <laughs> Only in love and war. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, yo. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. This shit is getting to the point. I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't, bro. I don't. But y'all already know when you hit that. Bang, bang, bang. I already know what bang, time it is. Bang, Give it to her. Let's go, Pauls. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Says it's hot outside. They say the girls love the summer. <laughs> I keep a little ice in my cup. <laughs> so the waiter never wonders. Mm. What the quench is going to be. <laughs> LeBron rides in the Hummer. Hey. Let's just say we keep it legal. LeBron, Hummer, 23. Ooh. But he never played for the Thunder. Bars. <laughs> Bars. Oh, my God. But we keep it plain. <laughs> no hits, no glory. Sounds like a hell of a movie. But there's a bed in the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, that was Fredo. <laughs> and that was Al. There was even a Pete. <laughs> there's something terribly fucking wrong. <laughs> if that activity ends with neat. <laughs> So you got to shake some fucking furniture. Or maybe even leave a stain. Hey. Mm. The fuck you talking about, babe? I just met you tonight. Mm. I don't need to know your name. Bang. Bars. <laughs> Damn. Ah, just a couple of drinks, followed by a couple of pumps. <laughs> Gas is too high. So that's out the question of what you thought. <laughs> <laughs> Take a big back of the car mm. on the couch or the floor. There's a great song by 112 if you need to reference some more. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a Jodeci guy. <clears throat> so, baby, won't you just stay? <laughs> mm. You know. You can come to my house party. I'm a kid. Won't you just play? <laughs> bars. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Bars. I'm done. Bars. I'm done. Bars. <laughs> bars. 
you give you a cheering for yourself. Oh, my bad, bro. And the hey. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that was pretty that, that was that was pretty good yeah. right there. I mean, you know. That was pretty good right there. You know. I try to do what I do when I can do it. Nah, <laughs> 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 Nick. All right. Let's get it. With the Twitter thoughts. Shit. Is that where we at? Yeah. Yeah, Twitter thoughts. We yeah, Twitter thoughts. We, yeah, we're going to say that last little. Yeah, we got to say that last yeah, one for, for what it is. Jesus. But before we get to Twitter thoughts, we got to make sure we make sure we pay the bills. Pay the bills. First of all, to send a shout out to I.O. The Money. There we go. Uh, I.O. The Money. Ladies, this one is for you. I.O. The Money is a sip shop and socialized boutique based in Los Cabos, Mexico. The name and brand is Italian inspired, but roots are right here in Dallas, Texas. Established in 2015, the boutique offers new arrivals and luxury consignment. The boutique features an online presence to those located around the world. You can shop three categories: shop, global shop, U.S. plus uh, global shop, U.S. plus Canada shop, and then Los oh, Los Lobos. Each offers something different based on your location. There's a discount code, midweek 10%. Now, this does not apply to Shop Los Lobos. It does apply to the other two. So you want to make sure that you go check out. Go to www.iodomani.com and get them checked out. And you can see it. Go to our website, Midweek Vibes. Right there on the website, you can click on it. It'll take you right to it. All right? So shout out to I.O. Damani. Fellas. Fellas, get something for your chick. Get something for your chick. Get something for your chick. So it's for the ladies, for the ladies. So fellas, be nice. Get something for your chick. Listen, sundresses and all. It's sundress season, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see your chick in that? I owe the money. Hey, and then, fellas, you can always say, hey, babe, I I got you coming something from international. All right? Yes. You know what I mean? So get your little brownie points by saying (laughs) it's from international. All right? You'll win everywhere. All right? All right, so let's jump into these Twitter thoughts. This Twitter thoughts, y'all. Twitter is, man, Twitter is a place if you're not prepared for it, okay? Twitter is a place if you are not prepared for it. So <laughs> oh so this God. is what we do for our Twitter thoughts. If this is your first time catching our Twitter thoughts, this is where we find an interesting story that happens on Twitter, and then we do what everybody does and where the action actually happens. We go to the fucking comments, all right? We go to the comments, and then we check out the best one. So here we go. <laughs> This week's Twitter thoughts, a Detroit man sold weed out of his vending machine, (laughs) out of a vending machine, which was outside his home, bringing in $2,000 a day. $2,000 a day. Okay. So he sold, was selling weed out of a vending machine, which was outside his home, and he was making $2,000 $2,000 a day. So, of course, do the math, right? Even if he works five days a week, right? Yeah. That's about $10,000 a week. Yep. It's about $40,000 a month, all right? I, I, I'm, you know, I, give or take, about you know what I'm saying? About 48. 48, maybe 48, 45, depending on, you know, yeah. up or down, you know, light day, heavy day, whatnot, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. It makes me really rethink my career choice. Listen. But... <laughs> This really makes me think my career choice, right? But, so, <laughs> let's get started with these fucking comments. The first one that's on the block. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Bobby Johnson, Just Blaze 8, says, if white pe- if a white person would have done this, y'all would have put them on Shark Tank. Hell yeah. <laughs> y'all would have been put them on Shark Tank. But it's the meme. It's the guy for me, the main, the meme. It's Hand, that guy. Hands on waist. Hands on waist, like, for real. Y'all know y'all would have put that dude on Shark Tank if 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 he would have did that, and then uh, y'all would have been talking about I want ten percent steak ten. in <laughs> in the in the damn uh, vending machine. They'd be uh-huh. like, they'd be like, what strands do you need? What, what strands, strands do you need? <laughs> what strands do you need? Can we get to it? All right. So the next one, the next one is <laughs> Cap One Eno says, "Who trying to go have on a vending machine?" <laughs> Listen. That was my first thought. And my first thought was like, you know, let me go check offer up real quick and Look, see if there's one in there. That was a middle of, matter of fact, no, that was a fucking makeshift vending machine. It really was. Did. If you look at it, yeah. when you look at it, it was really like he <laughs> put it together out of a Fisher Price box. With a little with a up with an up to date goddamn POS system. He was. <laughs> but 
Where he get that from, though? Where he get that, the POS system from? The Amazon. The, <laughs> the Amazon. Of all places. Got all that shit. From. Amazon got all that shit. It really do. So last Twitter thought. <laughs> White man about to copy this bar for bar, bro. <laughs> hey. Listen, that shit is already no, this shit is already up and working. Well, I, I I guarantee you it is, right? Because there were some other comments that I saw that they were talking about dispensaries. Yeah. And they were talking about, you know, other ways that this is already happening, mm-hmm. right? But what the crazier part about this was was that it's happened in Michigan. Michigan weed is legal there. Yeah. And so for them to come and get him and now, I don't know if he if he obviously he was selling it illegally. Right, but for them to come get him, but you can, uh, but he, but can't you sell? Can't you? you can, well, it, it's probably it's probably a stipulation with it because I know you can grow up into a certain amount. So obviously, if he's making two thousand dollars a day, he was definitely growing more. Hey, let's call him beef by the pound. And then, <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, but but was he actually growing it, or was he just being you know, or was he just being uh, Denzel's character, Frank? Frank Lucas, T West said, who and just moving, moving it. T West said, "Who moving to Michigan with me?" Who mo- <laughs> <laughs> Li- no, listen, listen. Now, they, yeah, they came and got him, and he's uh, he's facing I don't know what, how many charges or whatever, yeah, whatever case lot. may be. But still, like, this shit is legal. It's legal. It's legal. And the genius of it, right? And the genius of it. Now we look at that, right? You look at that, and you see the genius of that. Okay, look, nigga, that look like it's his front door. No, 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 no. I saw a video. I saw a you video. did. I saw a video. It ain't his front door. But it's right next to the goddamn <laughs> entrance for the goddamn building. But look at, but look, hold on, but look at that shit, bro. I can tap my goddamn card and go. Yeah. <laughs> and then reach your hand in that drawer. Boom. That's it. <laughs> reach your hand in that drawer. So look, hold on. Get so your he, shit and he go. Got, he got the up to date Carter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blue Magic. <laughs> it's a brand name. Listen. Like Pepsi. It's a brand name. Bro. Two thousand dollars a day. I stand behind that. I guarantee it, and you know that better than they know. Know the the the, the, the chairman of General Mills. He said, "I don't care what you do, goddamn it, you could do it." The hog tied to put a. <laughs> he said, "He said slap the slap the shit off the motherfucker. <laughs> call it, call it whatever you he's, like. Just don't call it." <laughs> said, "Damn, Nikki, damn, Nikki, you could you could cut cut my shit down three, four, five times. I don't care. Just I don't care what you do. Better call it rookie monkey red shit. Just 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 put a choke hole on the motherfucker. <laughs> That's it." Put a chokehold on the motherfucker. Put a chokehold on the motherfucker. But yeah, man, I think it was pretty genius. But man, they going to get him, and uh, I hope you know we can only hope that they do right by. So that's this week's Twitter thoughts. Nah, I'm motherfucking done. <laughs> he done. He is. He done done. All right, so we got to do it. <sighs> I guess we're part of the media. No. We. It, we <laughs> Yes, we're, yes, we're part of the media, and we have to report it. You know, we do have to report it. We have to report it. You're uh, done. You're you know. done. <sighs> so, I mean, in case you've been living up under a rock, <laughs> uh, over the weekend, uh, YouTube sensation. You know, uh, he was an image consultant. You know. <laughs> Black, okay. I guess I could say he was black women's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Samuels passed away over the weekend um, of an uh, alleged of, of an apparent heart attack. Um, I was really contemplating, bro, whether or not we were going to talk about this shit. We had to. We had to. I know people are tired of hearing about it, okay? <sighs> but we had to address it. Our with the the midweek vibe perspective, we had to at least hit on it. Pause. I was see. I was trying to avoid <laughs> that, and I thought I did. Okay, we had the fuck it. We had to just at least talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Because I was gonna say we had to touch on it. Pause. But <laughs> we had to at least talk about it because <laughs> there's so many different directions that we can go so with this. Many. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. Wind it up. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. So, I'm going to start with, I'm going to do a positive sandwich. Let's do a positive sandwich, <laughs> okay? We're going to start with a positive, and then 
we're going to go negative. And then we'll come back to a positive. Kevin Samuels was actually a really good guy. Yeah. He had all the great, the, he had all the best intentions for what he was doing and the audience and platform that he built. Okay. Did he make some mistakes? Probably. But he's a human. You know, he's a human. Humans make mistakes. Humans um, aren't fucking perfect. You know, and so every fucking day you try to get better, right? But he felt he had a um, he had a duty. He had a duty to his community to try to make them better. Now it wasn't in the best way that everybody would receive, but his message was really truly to help make his culture better, his community better. Now. On the flip side of that, the motherfucker was drinking three Red Bulls every show, right? A lot of people don't understand that. He was drinking Red Bulls every show. But his original idea motive was to really truly help his community and to help make his community better by starting with looking at yourself and making yourself fucking better, okay? He went directly to the woman, told her, you got three kids by four different baby daddies, and you want this man to take all of that and just accept it. Why should he? Get off my life. Okay. <laughs> Get off my life. You went. Get off my life. You went the political route. Get off my life. I'm going to give it to you motherfuckers raw like y'all fucking that. Pause. Oh, okay. See? No, it wasn't a pause. <laughs> Saudi out here fucking. I told, but I told you, I'm, I was doing the positive sandwich. I did the positive part first. Yeah. And so when we get to. That part. Dude, it's Kendrick. How, how Kendrick do it? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> look, OJ, look, can't be saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Okay, so in a nutshell, in a nutshell, what really what really happened, what really happened is the fact that a lot of motherfuckers, y'all look like, th- we always talk about this generation is sensitive as, sensitive as fuck. Correct. And it's, it, it's basically seeping into, like, our generation and, our, you know, the, uh, and the generation above us. Everybody's fucking hypersensitive nowadays. Yeah. And the fact that, Y'all, not a, mm, y'all don't know the fucking truth when it hits you in the fucking mouth, or the eye, the cheek, however you want to look at it. Yeah. And the truth is hard to accept. He was talking to the men for the first True. three years. He was of his like of his existence on uh, on on YouTube, everything else, and he was read writing and and getting yeah. men straight, telling you, look, you ain't shit. Right. You sitting here living in your mama's basement. You right. ain't got no fucking car, but you want this woman or whatever who got her shit together and this and the other, and you like, and you you ain't got your shit together yet. Right. Get your shit in order. Right. But it wasn't until it wasn't until he got on women. He got on women, and let's talk about it. This fucking feminist movement Correct. and all this and like and, and all this other bullshit has basically here's a good SAT word has basically convoluted. Mm, nice. Every Great fucking word. every fucking thing. Great word. Every fucking thing because if you talk in the natural fucking dating game. In a natural fucking day in the game, the only dude, only dudes that will ever date a woman in her mid-30s with multiple kids is one, a dude that does not want kids himself, and two, a dude that already has fucking kids. And nine times out of ten, that woman is looking for dudes that have kids because they, they already have kids. They already they already have kids and they know how to adjust and deal with that. But y'all let this man who y'all have no fucking clue who he is, sit up and tell y'all, and really the message that he was sending was to these women. He wasn't talking to everybody. He was talking to these women who want a, a quote-unquote quote high, high value. value right. Fuck that. Uh, they, 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 like they want a man with a lot of fucking money. Right. Let's call it right. what it is. They just right. want a man with a lot of fucking money. He was like, what makes you think that you deserve right. these men with a lot of money? What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the, the table? table or whatever? And, and, and a lot of times, and a lot of times now, and what and they, what a lot of them also don't realize, they're trying to say that it was all, it was all, um, ladies, you're going to get mad when I say this, but here you go. They're saying that it was fat black women, right? They're saying it was heavy black women that were coming to their lives and that were upset. There were a lot of, quote, unquote, and some of the clips I saw, these were some pretty girls that were also coming to these clips and coming to these lives. Oh, yeah. And that were chiming in and were having conversations with him and then would get mad at him when he would ask them, well, what else do you have to bring to this man besides a pretty face, pussy and kids? 
What else do you have to offer? Because let's because let's be honest. Let's be honest. On social media, whether you talk about Justin LeBoy's page or whatever the case may be, whenever it is asked, women, what are y'all giving y'all boyfriend or whatever for Valentine's Day? The, the, look, the next statement right after that is always, pussy is not a fucking option. That's always the next statement after that or whatever. There are... And not we're not saying all we're not we're generalizing not, so right there. Yes. but there, there was a specific, there was a, a you know a specific, you know, range that he was talking to, point blank period. Yeah, that's it. And it wasn't it wasn't just black women. It was white women. It right. was like you know Hispanic. It was all the way across the board. These women. And my thing is, y'all are pissed off at this man, but y'all kept going to his fucking platform, and never fucking logged off. Never fucking logged off. Y'all kept. Y'all kept going to his platform, asking him fucking questions, asking him about all this other stuff, and never logged off. But if the shit didn't apply to you, why the fuck are you mad? Matter if it has nothing to do with you, why are you mad? If you are high va- quote unquote high value woman, if you don't have any kids, or fuck that, even if you got kids, right? If you got kids, but you bring it more to the table, then he probably wouldn't have had to be able to say shit to you. So don't get mad at him for just talking. If he wasn't to, to saying that I need to defend women. All women or all men don't need to be defended. Let people defend their fucking selves. There's no need for you to try to fight somebody else's battles because you feel that he talked to them wrong. You know no, what? he didn't. You know what? Y'all, mo- look, y'all motherfuckers talking about y'all defending women and all this other shit and the way he talking to y'all. But yeah, y'all, no, nah, man, see, I wasn't going to go here. Y'all sit up in fucking church or whatever at that and the preacher been lying to y'all all goddamn year just to get just to get money out of y'all. Mm. There's, no fucking re- there's no fucking reason why it's 10 goddamn... Uh, 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 offerings a goddamn <laughs> service. <laughs> he dropped, it's supposed to be for the people who are right there, saving, like, he's supposed to be saving your soul, leaving you to Christ who are right there, but he's taking your goddamn money, getting a Bentley in a goddamn house, and you still struggling to pay your goddamn light bill with your four kids that you're looking for a goddamn uh, high value man with. What y'all don't realize is, and y'all don't know this, and I don't know if how many of y'all do know this, is that if you did fall on hard times monetarily, the church is supposed to be the first place that you exactly. go. Exactly. Because you give, you've been giving to the church. So if you've been giving to the church, you should be able to go back to the church and say, hey, I need this without having to go fill out a loan application or whatever. You say, I need this to take care of this. Okay? But that's not the case. We know that. But Okay. Okay, T. West. Moving on. T. West, you said I didn't mind uh, his his message. It was the delivery. Okay, let's take the Tupac. Let's take the Tupac uh, mes- uh, method right real quick. You have hungry people in the ghetto, and Tupac said, "Okay, you know, at first it's going to be, you know, hey, we hun- hey we hungry. You know, can you please give us some food? Mm-hmm. They're not listening to us. Then right. it's going to move. It's going to move a little further. Now we're singing." Hey, we hungry. We need yeah. food. Hey, we hungry. You, need, you don't hear us. Now it's I'm busting in your fucking house, taking whatever the fuck I want to. So how many times, how many times and not like, like once again, not all, but it's just like it's just this, you know, specific, this specific group of women. How many times do we have to say or do, like do they have to say, why do you deserve these high value men whatever right there when all you're talking about bringing to the table? Is what's between your legs, right? right. You know. So now, I, 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 and, and I'm, I'm gonna let, let you finish, but I want to know, T. West, what was it about his delivery? Because that's what a lot of people are saying. Uh, a lot of women, or a, a lot of people that aren't liking him, or didn't like him, or didn't agree with him, or whatever, they said it was his delivery. And what was it about? It? What was what about it was made you upset, and or clip, did, that you didn't like? In the clip, in the clips that I saw, the clips that I saw, whatever like that, it was always. His reaction. It wasn't. It wasn't the initial. He came like he always came on and asked. He asked these women, you know, what brought them on. They say, well, I can't. You know, I can't seem to get this man and this that and blah blah blah. And then he starts to go down the list. He starts to go down the list, or what, uh, whatever. And okay, T. T. West said like it was the fact that he called. He would. He would call women fat. Who are they? <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm not saying it to be facetious or anything else. But a lot, like a lot of time, and not to, and not to say that he did, he didn't offend people. He didn't offend right. people because I'm pretty sure he did. He offended a lot of people. He, he offended a lot of he offended a lot of dudes all the way across the board. But to a certain, like to a certain extent, to a certain extent, like like Jeff said, he called the men fat. He too. called dudes fat too. Yeah, he called the men. He called the men fat. He called them, you know, basically, 
you know, bitches like all like all the way across the board saying that like they were little boys and you need to grow the fuck up and do this and blah 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 get your shit in order. But like I said, it wasn't until he got to the women. And the women would come on there and, and basically, you know, say like say certain shit to him. And I feel like people would like people would expect for him just to be like, okay, all right. Right. You know. His latest post, Kevin Samuels' latest viral post, right? That has gone viral. We get you, T. West. That has made me really, truly think what women value when it comes to a man. Okay? His latest viral post. His latest viral post. Everybody and women were talking about, oh, we can't stand him. We can't stand him. We can't stand him. His latest viral post said, men pay for everything. Men pay for everything. Everything. You want to be the man? You want to let me show her your check sheet, show her your balance, pay for everything. And then all of a sudden, the women that were talking about, oh, I can't believe him, were now all of a sudden applauding him, telling him, oh, he finally said something right. He finally said something that makes sense. But yet, when men say, oh, we ain't trying to, like, we, we, we don't want this. But then we got to sit there and, f- and face that harsh truth of y'all, y'all respect men for what they do. Most, not saying all, most respect men for what they do and the amount of money that they have or how they're spending it. And so when they posted that and he said, men, you pay for everything, there was nothing but women that were in those comments talking about, finally, you said something right. But no, let's skip over when it was your time to deal with that harsh truth. When it was your time to deal with the truth of him telling you that you need to get yourself together. So why would a man that won't, that has to pay for everything, why does he have to sit there and just accept you when he has to pay for everything? If you, do you want a boss? Because a lot of, because a lot of, we can talk about a lot of women, a lot of women, a lot of women want, and I hear this thrown around mm-hmm. a lot. And these were, like, these were the type of women, these were the type of women that were, you know, calling in wanting these men with a lot of money and not understanding like that like that game or that ball field or whatever the case may be. And all he was saying to them were, because like the last little clip that I saw, like when he passed away or whatever, was this woman and she was, she called herself a six. She said that she was an average woman. And okay. all he said was, he would tell a lot of them, what's wrong <laughs> with an average guy? You're going after the top 10% in the world, mm-hmm. which are men that make over $100,000, and don't let, don't let social media or the world fool you. There's only 10% of the fucking world that makes over $100,000 a year. And it's and okay to make $100,000 fucking thousand dollars yeah. a year. <laughs> and he would say, like, and he would basically, he would basically say, you're missing out on a lot of good men because you feel like this, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, what makes you think that, you know, you're so much better right. than these men? That was the message, but a lot of like a lot of these women would throw around, you know, they're old school or they're by the old standard or whatever, and they're like their father, their grandfather paid for everything and this that the other, and that's what you know, and that's what they want. First off, you don't understand, you don't understand why that was back in the day. Mm-hmm. You, the the man paid for everything, not because he wanted to or this that and the other, is because he had to because women couldn't work. You couldn't vote. You couldn't do none of that. So you were basically forced to live in a fucking house and Mm -hmm. take care of everything. He had to slave out there, like, no pun intended. But he had to slave and, you know, bring home the bacon or whatever and, you know, and make the money, whatever like that. So it was not a choice. Today it is. Mm -hmm. But the tricky thing is, with like, with all that, those women want the men to bring home all the money or whatever, but you still want him to share the responsibilities in the house. Mm. (laughs) <laughs> if you're gonna go old school, <laughs> if you're gonna go old school by the old school standard, yeah. If he brings home all, like if he paying all the bills and brings home all the money, then yes, I want a goddamn hot meal on the table <laughs> when I get home in the oven or some shit. The house you should know? be look, the house should be clean. The kids should be in order, and then look about to get ready for bed. I shouldn't have to touch shit. Yeah, but your ass before we go to bed. I'm sorry, that sounded a little caveman. <laughs> y'all don't kill me. <laughs> y'all don't kill me for that shit. No, but, uh, but but I'm serious. Like, but that like, but that's the world that they want or whatever. That instead of like finding a good finding a good dude and uh, a dude finding a good woman or whatever, y'all building together in today's society. Right. Because I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all saw this fucking gas prices and shit. 
These fucking gas prices. They up. They are up. I'm stripping at LaBear's next week. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Man, these gas prices are, are up. up. It, it, it's just. Bacon is $9 a goddamn pack. Man, it, it, inflation is up. Yes. Everything. And it, Joe Biden just want to say. <laughs> Joe Biden wants to say, I'm going to address inflation. No, I don't want you to address no, it. No, kill I need you to, Yeah, I need you to fix it. Kill, infl- I don't need kill inflation. Kill inflation like Bin Laden, goddamn. Like, uh, like, like, just like y'all found Bin Laden now, I need y'all. <laughs> you found Bin Laden. I need y'all to get the inflation out of the way. But I, like, but uh, to bring this full circle, bring this full circle on Kevin Samuels. Ah, and I, w- like, I was going to go in a little bit more. Fuck it. I got a little more to say. We got a little time. We got a little time. We got a little time. I got a little more to say. And it's funny because those, like, these certain women hate Kevin Samuels and kill him. Right. But you still love your homegirl who done fucked all your, uh, all your boyfriends your whole life. I'm just saying. Y'all hate Kevin Samuels. Y'all hate Kevin Samuels. I ain't going to go there, bro. But y'all look, but y'all, but y'all still, y'all still fucking the same dude and still loving the same dude that'll clean your fucking bank account out. <laughs> That's been fucking over you and you know it for the last five years. You still love that motherfucker, but you hate Kevin Samuels for giving his opinion. Right. And it, it was just opinion. It was right. opinion. It wasn't it was fact, just opinion. It wasn't a fact on your life. It was an opinion. Your dumb ass kept tuning into the shit. And y'all. Kevin could only, he could only make his opinion based upon what you told him. Exactly. Oh, based upon what you told him. Let's say you had five kids. You had five kids, but you told Kevin that I only have, I have one child. That's all that he can make and formulate his his opinion from. I saw one, bro. That's it. I saw one, bro. He asked the chick, he asked the chick, how many, quote, unquote, high-value men are vying, are vying to marry you right now? Yeah. She said, "Oh, I got I oh I I, I done been I done been proposed to a couple times by high value men." He was like, "Men that make blah 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 the, the criteria." He put the, put that shit out there. She was like, "Yes, yes." He was like, "Who are these men? Who are they? <laughs> and why didn't they marry you?" <laughs> Hold on, he was like, "Who?" He said, "Who are they?" She was talking about the same dude wow. proposed to her three or four different times. Oh wow! And he was not even serious about marrying her. Oh wow. Like it, uh, I mean, like he would he would ask some questions, and basically, like Jay Z said, you know, <laughs> Jay Z said, I just hanged them. Like he said, he said, you know, I let them hang themselves and they kicked away, like I just kicked away the chair. These women were giving these giving yeah. this fucking information, and all he was doing was just simply asking questions. That's it, you know. But the thing that is disheartening about this world, and I mean, obviously, y'all see the title, y'all fucking weird. It's because oh yeah, a lot of people are celebrating this man's death. That was the weirdest shit ever to me. I have never seen that, right? Y'all were nicer to R. Kelly when he went to jail than y'all were to Kevin Samuels. R. Ke- R. Kelly been fucking y'all daughters since <laughs> they were two years old. <laughs> like, and, y'all, like, and y'all celebrating. Y'all were, man, y'all were nicer to R. Kelly and I, than y'all were to Kevin Samuels. And I saw D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley said that, uh, he, said maybe, he said maybe it's because no, he like Dio Hughley said somebody told him that because he was like putting trying to put the correlation together, and he said some like one uh, somebody said it's because R. Kelly R. Kelly made us feel good by a fucking song. <laughs> so I fuck your daughter, and you happy and you happy because because I put out a I put out a goddamn song step step side to side <laughs> round and round <laughs> dip it down. He was really talking about fucking your daughter. It wasn't no happy people, man. That's that's over their head. That's over their head. Those lyrics over your fucking head. He was. But what y'all won't realize, (laughs) and what y'all won't accept, there was a group of women who also tuned in to Kevin Samuels. There was also a group of women that tuned in to Kevin Samuels, and these group of women, they took his harsh truth and said it was because of Kevin Samuels that I got myself together. I ended up losing 30 pounds. I ended up losing 15 pounds. I ended up just doing, feeling better about myself. I ended up changing the way that I looked at myself. I know I didn't necessarily lose. Yeah, I was still the same size, but I changed how I looked at myself. And then the right man came into my life. Or some of these same women said that Kevin Samuels helped fix their marriage. He helped fix their marriage. What up, Isis? What up, Isis? He helped fix their marriage. So, 
for the small percentage of people who were offended or yeah. with that, it's the same like same fucking group of people. Everybody wants to fucking cancel people and wants to do this, yeah. wants to do that. And like I, I put, I did, I put up, you know, a trolling, you know, post by Kevin Samuels on on the on the book, <laughs> and it did exactly what the fuck it was supposed to do. It brought the fucking trolls out talking about fuck yeah. Kevin Samuels. This, that, and the third. He broke anyway. This, that, and the other. How the fuck y'all know he broke? How do y'all know that? How do y'all know? He he didn't he ain't have mo- he ain't have money to fly his mom out. Motherfucker, he dead. He's dead. Right? How he gonna send the money? How he gonna send the money to buy a goddamn plane ticket and he dead? Yeah, they talking about he had just got done paying child support or whatever. Of course, he saying he was divorced twice. And it was like, well, y'all bringing up all this stuff about this dude, right? Not because he's passed away, because you didn't like what he was doing. Like that's the weirdest shit for for anybody to say. I'm glad he's gone. Okay, I'm glad he's gone. You had Lisa. You had Lisa Ray say like his death was karma, like for the way he was talking to black women. Like, uh, okay, I gotta say this, and this has been on my mind and my heart. But now I feel like we're living in an age where it's man versus woman. That's what I feel like we're living in. So I don't feel like we're living in a world where there's it's man and woman. Right, I feel like we're living man versus woman. Oh, the woman, oh, it's uh, the woman. See your, see yourself, girl. See yourself, girl. You know what I mean. And then now you can't pour into your man, right? And I think social media has fucked up a lot of shit. But oh, that's <laughs> that's another story for another show. But now I feel like it's man versus woman. Girl, go do what you need, sis. Go do what you need, sis. Right? But what you don't understand is that the man needs to hear. Positivity from the woman, from his woman. Let me let me take it. A, let me take it a step further, bro. Let me take it a step further. Y'all out here with the city girl, uh, was Cardi Cardi B Cardi B mentality? This and the other. Y'all listen to y'all listen to all this shit, all the fucking lyrics, and they're at home with their fucking men. Yup. They're at home in their marriages. Yeah. Like they're like they're they're at where you're trying to be, but you're listening to. Broke bro, broke boys don't d- don't deserve <laughs> no pussy. I know that's right. I know that's right, huh? But she don't cook. She don't clean. So how the fuck y'all think she got that man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, li- like, li- like, literally. Listen, like, listen to y'all fucking selves. It's it, it's fucking it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Like like seriously. And yeah. I'm laughing like it, because Michael Blackson, Michael Blackson. Shout out to Michael. Michael Blackson. <laughs> he was get jiggy with this shit. He was just like he was just on Shannon Sharp uh uh podcast. And was talking about was talking about like his like his lifestyle right now, and you know, and how he he doesn't he doesn't subscribe to just one woman or whatever like that. He tells whoever he's dating like, hey, I'm a, look, I'm gonna need like I'm, I'm gonna have side chicks, whatever yeah. like that. Either you with or you're not. But then he turned around, and then his next statement was, he said, "You can't do this." He said, "Now you can't do this if you're broke." <laughs> and he was make hold on, he was making a point because he said. He said, like, you know, me, he said, a person like me, or he was talking about Shannon, he said, a person like us out here with all, like, with all this money or yeah. whatever like that, and we walk up to a chick and tell a chick, and tell a chick, you know, hey, I got these side, like, I got these chicks over here, whatever like that, like, if you want to be with me, that's going to be, he said, nine times out of ten, he said, those women are going to, like, are going to accept it, this and the other, because of the money, this and the other, and yeah. it's a, it's a, of what goes with it. It's a fucking sad reality that it we is, live in, man. It is that it's you would cold world out here. That these like hold on, that these women would settle for shit like that. Yeah, instead of a quote unquote air quotes average dude. Yeah, that makes sixty to ninety thousand dollars a year. Yeah, even go ahead and bump that up to one hundred twenty. But because there, there was a chick that talking about a hundred thousand dollars ain't enough. I said, uh, in what world is a hundred thousand dollars not enough? Who the fuck? Who the who the fuck you? Like, like, and you making fifteen? <laughs> like what? But then the same chicks that say they don't need a man until they until they out here uh, ice skating and Tokyo drifting <laughs> on they got their ball ass tires <laughs> with all their lights on. All uh, your fucking uh, lights uh, on. Lights on on the inside of the car. <laughs> look like you look like you playing Connect Four and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you just get into an arcade game every Hell goddamn yeah. time you get in your car. <laughs> walk up, look, walk up in the fucking kitchen. What is this? What is this? Right. <laughs> now listen, ladies, 
Now we're not we're not singling out the men the same way Kevin no. Kevin Samuels didn't either. You know, men have to get it together. Yeah, we listen to to dudes that talk about all oh, just you know, fuck bitches and shit like that. Let's get money, and they going home to their wives. I'm okay, <laughs> I mean, look, look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say that we throw around the like they're throwing around the metaverse. Yeah. And y'all, look, if y'all did not catch my fucking midweek minute, go back and watch go that back shit. and watch that. because it all this shit ties in. Now we're talking about like reality, uh, you know, versus a facade and like right. all this other shit. Listen, all these industries is a fucking facade. <laughs> all these gangster rappers and everybody else have fucking degrees, bachelors, masters, and some of them are doctorate. <laughs> They're married at home with kids. They just tell like they just tell y'all go sell perk and fuck this and do all this other shit. That's what they tell y'all. Or whatever. You know why? You know why? Because because gangster rap and black music talking about killing other blacks, talking about selling drugs, talking about how much money you got and everything else like that is profitable. Go to some profitable. of these yeah. go to some of these white people and tell like tell Garth Brooks to talk about uh Billy Ray Cyrus killing him and all this other shit. They said like on, on who's fucking radio? Wait, like, not over here. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> and they don't stand for it in other cup. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Brother Shabazz came all the way to fuck he out. He did, real quick. But, but, y'all gonna fucking realize, y'all gonna fucking realize, or whatever like that, and our black leaders, well, some of them, because some, some of them. them have been informants, and I'm, mm, fuck, okay. So, Boy. <laughs> I know. But, the overall message has been, the overall message has been, and I and I and I read this and I heard it, you know, uh, here recently. My black women, my black women, my black women, and my brothers, and my brothers, we're the most powerful when we're together. We really are. We're the most yes. powerful when we're together. Not you over here talking about you don't fucking need us, right. and black men talking about like they going to some other fucking going to date some other race or we right. don't need y'all. We just gonna fuck y'all and do it. No. We're, we're we're stronger when we're together, and they they know that shit, and that's why they do every fucking thing to try to keep y'all from us, motherfucker. Take that <laughs> shit to the goddamn bank. <laughs> yes, y'all. We had a powerful ass. Uh, <laughs> we had a powerful ass episode right here. Yeah, we got stuff that we got to say. All right. And Jeff said, "Look, Jeff said it because conscious hip hop is too powerful and uplifting, and they can't." It can't have that. Exactly. Every exactly. time every time a public enemy, every time a tribe called quest, every time something like that comes out, they always backdoor with a young thug. Hell. And they backdoor with all all that other shit. Watch Kendrick's album be out for two weeks. Oh, that's what I said. That boogie that, <laughs> that boogie man is on the way. Watch Kendrick's album be out for two weeks and then we back to the other bullshit, the mumble rap. So this week's we're getting into our black owned business of the week. Which is brought to you by our God damn! I need my iPad. Yeah, back. Bro, there we go. Struggling. With which that. is brought back to which is brought to you by <laughs> brought to you by Assist for You. Go to the website www assist for you, and they can take care of all of your small business and your social media needs. So make sure you check them out. So this week's Black Owned Business is coming to you right here out of Dallas, Texas. It is called Spotted Boutique. All right, Spotted Boutique XOXO in the Ritchie Tower. Huh. 7800 North Stimmons Freeway, Suite 636 Dallas, Texas, 75247. All right, they are currently open and closed at 12 a.m. They have in-store shopping and curbside pickup. All right, it is a cool little boutique you can order online. All right, you can order online at www.spottedboutiquexoxo.com. Again, check out spottedboutiquexoxo.com in the Ritchie Tower, 7800 North Stimmons Freeway, Suite 636, Dallas, Texas, 75247. And that is this week's Black Owned Business of the Week. All right. And y'all can be in y'all fucking feelings all you want to. Let's just hug it out. I love you. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. Every Ain't single no last one of y'all. Ain't no love loss. At all. Y'all start getting mad over people's fucking opinion. This is all opinion. We value yours just like we value everybody's. Exactly. Everybody's opinion matters. And we can all get along. We can. All right. But music of the week. Music of the week. It's two parts because I got an announcement. All right. Music of the week comes from. Kenyon Dixon. Kenyon right. Dixon. 
The album is entitled Closer. Dope. Now, fellas, y'all know I give y'all gems every now and then. I give y'all little gems. I give y'all little rubies. I give y'all little sapphires. <laughs> All that. Give y'all gems. Get a get a bottle of wine. <laughs> Light some candles. <laughs> Sit on the couch. Let this album play. Let this album play. And maybe you can play a little later. <laughs> <laughs> And if you're lucky, you make it play on the couch. If you're lucky, maybe you can play. Maybe she'll like, maybe she'll put you in the game, coach. <laughs> All right. But this album, Kenya and Dixon, the title Closer. The announcement, I've been saying it all show. And if y'all haven't been paying attention to social media, he put out a song entitled mm. The Heart Five. Yeah, he now, did. he has a whole little series going. And like the hearts, the hearts never make the album. Mm. They never make the album, but they send a message. The boogeyman is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman is coming. This Friday, Kendrick Lamar is dropping. He's dropping his album, people. It's a double disc, too. <laughs> it's a double disc. So, Sykes, what's good, bro? What's what up, good? Sykes? What up, Sykes? You know, just know Friday is going up. Yeah, it's going to be... It's gonna be fire. <laughs> Kendrick's album, Kendrick, Kendrick is going man. If it had, it was anything close to his last album, damn, uh, it was gonna be. This uh, one is gonna be. Woo. The last I didn't even like the last album was five years ago, bro. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy that the last album from five Kendrick Lamar years. was five years ago. Five years. That's crazy. That's nuts. It is. All right. So, other than that, you know, we got to do like you know, we don't, like you catch us on. the Replays on the top seven, seven. platforms of the world. <laughs> Apple Podcasts? Yes. Spotify? Yes. iHeart? Yes. Pandora? Yes. Audible? Yes. Google? Yes. And YouTube. There you go. Boom. All seven. Also, go to midweekvibes.com. That's with an S. Dot com. Get all your merch while you can. Get all your merch while you can. Yes, I might yes, just yes. continue some shit just because I got new shit that's coming out. Boom. All right? <laughs> On top of that, ladies, Ayo Damani, I told you it's for you guys. It's for you guys. Y'all can catch that shit on our fucking website. Yep. Or go to iodamani.com. International. Fellas, get you, get you, get get your chicks some international stuff. Some shit. international stuff. It's, it's international, but it's rooted right here in, in, in Dallas, yeah. Dallas, Texas. The Triple D. Get your so, chicks some foreign. So support your own. <laughs> so support your own. Also, speaking of support, on all our, uh, on all our platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that. Twitter. Like, share, press the subscribe button. Yeah. Keep up with all the content. Keep up with everything. Let uh -huh. us know what you, and, it, and if it's something that you want us to talk about, let us know. Shoot us a message, all right? Put us a, a comment on something, all right? You know, and, 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 and we'll, we'll, if, we'll talk about it. If you want to get on the goddamn show, we got to interview, interview you, but right. before <laughs> the, pre, the previous interview, <laughs> treat it like a goddamn job. We got to put you through like four interviews with a panel and all this other shit just, <laughs> just to make sure you make the cut. <laughs> all right? But as our team, <laughs> you got to cut. <laughs> Our team is on our pause. Shit, I can't even say that. We're done. <sighs> We're done. We're done. Wind it up. <laughs> We're done, done. <laughs> We're, We're done. 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 We're done. All right. So, if there's nothing else said, may we stand? May we stand. <laughs> Want to work? I see. I was about to say. You what? was. Want to welcome? <laughs> yeah, you was. You about to start the whole damn show over. I was. I about was. About to start the whole damn show over. I was. <laughs> <sighs> may we stand? <laughs> been another episode of Midweek Vibes. I'm your boy Cobain. That is Vapor Winston. I am. Until next week, people. Till next week. Peace.